Join Kids Hat Family. Ah, I can't see anything, dear. Wait, I'll look for the torch. Oh, thank God. But dear, why is it that we can't see in the dark and only in light? That's because Tofu, in order to see, the eyes must receive light and darkness is the absence of light. I didn't get you, dear. Most of the objects we see around us are visible by reflected light. Reflected sunlight or reflected artificial light. You are able to see these objects because light reflects and this reflected light is what becomes a mirror image in our eyes. Since darkness is the absence of light, there is no light in the darkness to be reflected from chairs, tables or people to our eyes and therefore we cannot see these objects. But we are able to see in the dark after some time. Why is that then? You have probably noticed that it is difficult to see objects inside a house when you have just come in from the bright sunlight. After you have been in the house a little while, your eyes adapt themselves to the dimmer light and you can see perfectly well. Oh, thank God! We have torches when it gets dark. Tia, is hair also a part of the body? Yes, Tofu. And nails? Yes, even nails too. Then why it does not hurt when we cut our nails or hair, but it does hurt when our other body parts get hurt? Hmm, that's quite an interesting observation that you have made, Tofu. Our body parts get hurt because they have nerve sensations in them. So whenever you get bruised, the tissues and cells in the skin get damaged and nerves send sensations to the brain. But the parts of our hair and nails that lie above the skin's surface are made up of keratin. Keratin? Yes, keratin. It is comprised of dead cells of a tough protein. Since these cells are dead, there is no sensitivity in them. Thus, when we cut our hair or nails, there is no sensation whatsoever. Tofu! What are you doing? It hurts! Sorry, Tia, but you just said hair and nails don't hurt. That's because both hair and nails have nerve endings just below the skin's surface. Ouch! So if our hair is pulled, or nails cut too short, these nerves are affected and this could hurt us. Thanks, Tia. 
Now I can go and tell all my friends in school about this interesting fact about our body. <laughs> sure, Tofu. You are most welcome. you tofu you're sneezing Achoo. take this handkerchief why do we sneeze almost anything that irritates or tickles inside your nose can cause you to sneeze like dust pollens cold air pets and pepper can cause sneezing happens when we sneeze the nose is an extremely sensitive organ that regulates the air we breathe it makes sure we breathe clean and healthy air air sometimes has tiny particles that are unsuitable for us when we sneeze our nostrils expel the irritating particles It could be dust, Achoo. flowers, pepper bottle Achoo. and pets. Achoo. You can also sneeze a lot when you are suffering from cold as the lining of your nose is swollen. Sneezing can send tiny particles speeding out of your nose at up to 100 miles per hour. So what's the process? When the inside of your nose gets a tickle, a message is sent to a special part of your brain and the brain sends a message to all the muscles that have to work together to sneeze. Did you realize that you always close your eyes when you sneeze? Really? Achoo! Achoo! Yes, you are right. This was so much fun. Yes, it certainly was. But Tia, why do I taste salt in my mouth? Why is the seawater salty? When the rain flows over the land, the water washes salt and other minerals out of the rocks and gets mixed with the water in the streams, rivers, etc. The rivers finally carry the salt to the sea. The salt stays in the sea as no water flows out of the sea. When the sea water evaporates to form clouds, almost all the salt stays behind. The left behind salt slowly gets collected over a period of time and this is how sea water gets salty. is the reason we cannot drink seawater. It's too salty. 
Yes, almost 96% of water on earth is in the oceans. And still we cannot drink it directly. Water, water everywhere and not a drop to drink. <laughs> Why do trees lose their leaves in the autumn season? Before telling you why trees shed their leaves, do you know Tofu how trees get their energy? Energy? Yes, energy. Just like we eat food to get energy, trees make their food too to get energy. How do they make their food? Trees use sunlight from the sun and water from the ground to make their food. The leaves use the sunlight and water to make food. But I didn't understand why do they shed leaves? When the winters set in, the days become shorter and the sunlight is hardly available. So when sunlight is not available, the trees cannot make food. Rather than continuing to make food with little sunlight, they go in a rest position by shedding their leaves. This way, they use very little energy and have just enough water and nutrition stored in their trunk to stay alive till spring arrives. When spring arrives, the temperature goes up and there is more sunlight. New leaves grow and cover the tree once more. Oh! But why do I see some trees not shedding their leaves all throughout the year? That's because there are some tree species that retain their leaves all throughout winters. They are called evergreen trees. That's because these trees are used to the cold and have very deep roots that can reach water and nutrition even in snowy conditions. Wow! After so much interesting information, I think I need some food too. Let's go and ask mum what's for dinner. Tofu, are you all right? Nah, just a hiccup. <laughs> but why do we get hiccups? Hiccups are funny ones. Most simple cases of hiccups come after eating or drinking too much or too quickly. You must be wondering where these funny noises are coming from. The part to be blamed is your diaphragm. This is a dome-shaped muscle at the bottom of your chest and all hiccups start here. The diaphragm helps in breathing. When you inhale, it pulls down to help pull air into the lungs. When you exhale, 
The diaphragm relaxes and the air flows out of the lungs back to the nose and mouth. But sometimes the diaphragm becomes irritated. When this happens, it pulls down in a jerky way which makes you suck air into your throat suddenly. When the air rushing in hits your voice box, you're left with a big hiccup. <laughs> hmm. Do you know that almost all cases of hiccups last only a few minutes? Everyone has their own pet remedy for curing hiccups. Simply holding your breath is often effective. <sighs> Tofu, are you feeling sleepy? No, just tired. But Tia, what makes us yawn? And why is it so that when I see someone yawning, I kind of feel like yawning too? Yawning is an involuntary action which we all do. And we all know that it is a feature of sleeping. It is commonly associated with tiredness, stress and boredom. All vertebrates do yawn including fish and birds. Human baby starts yawning since they are 20 weeks old. So how do we do it? During a yawn, we open our mouth and we suck in a large amount of air and expand our chest. The cavity pulls down our diaphragm and fills air in our lungs and exhales it out. There are a number of theories that attempt to explain why animals and people yawn. As per the physiological theory, our bodies induce yawning in order to draw in more oxygen or remove a buildup of carbon dioxide. A more recent theory explains that we yawn more in the situations where our brain is likely to be warmer. So it's a way to cool down our brain. Do you know that the average yawn lasts around 6 seconds? Yawning is contagious. Only humans, chimps and possibly dogs find them contagious. Recent studies show contagious yawning may be linked to one's capacity for understanding and sharing the feelings of others. So Tofu, how many times have you yawned while listening to me? I hope not too many. <laughs> For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Heart family. Subscribe here.